Uh, now, who knew a cake could cause such controversy? Four years after the so-called gay cake was first cooked up, the Supreme Court have ruled that the Christian owners of a Northern Ireland bakery were not discriminatory when they refused to make a cake with a slogan supporting same-sex marriage. The verdict provoked strong reactions from those involved. That made me feel like a second-class citizen. This ruling protects freedom of speech and freedom of conscience for everyone. So is religious freedom as important as gay rights? Joining me to give us their views on that are Marie Fahi, a former RE teacher, now from the Organisation of Catholic Voices, uh, the religious minister, George Hargreaves, the author and columnist, Owen Jones, and the evangelical Anglican, Jane Ozan. Uh, well, Owen, uh, should people of faith be asked to do things uh, they feel is against their religion? Well, on this, I'm sick of this gay cake, I have to say, but, um, and I think a lot of LGBTQ people are, given the number of issues that we have to confront and, and fight about, rather than talking about a cake all the time. The issue is, look, I mean, if you want to use a public opportunity to make money, then you are expected to abide by certain standards, health and safety regulations and so on. My, my worry about this press, about this particular judgment, um, is what sort of precedent might it set? I mean, are we going to say postal workers should have the right not to deliver pro-LGBTQ messages? Are we going to say that uh, newspaper printers can say we're not going to print this newspaper because there's a column supporting LGBTQ rights? But more broadly, my worry is this. Uh, if we look back at the 1950s, a large majority of Britons opposed interracial marriage. Uh, in the 1950s, you can see protesters in the United States holding up placards opposing interracial marriage. Um, history does not look very kindly on those people. Mm. We still live in a society where LGBTQ people, there will be people watching this, questioning their sexuality, including Christians. Uh, Northern Ireland, where you don't have the right to equal marriage. At the end of the day, these are not freedom fighters, like people across the world, fighting for the rights of oppressed people and the dictatorships and the rest. They're just people who didn't support civil liberties of others and uh, were so affronted by the idea they'd support, uh, that, they'd, that they were asked to make a cake for somebody else supporting equal rights. Yeah. And, and, and that's nothing for, okay. for them to be proud of or for anyone to celebrate. OK, George, history will look back on this and think, look um, at those bakers and think, how on earth was that allowed to happen? History will look back on this and say, how on earth did the Equalities Commission allow this to happen? They're the villains of this piece. Well, they, because they, 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 they took, funded they, they the... Funded, they took this case as a nonsense. The, the, the guy was not discriminated against because he was gay. He was actually already a customer of the cake firm. They'd already made cakes for him before. There has to be rights, not only for gays, not only for Christians, but for everybody to say, these are the things I can stand by and these are the things I can... So, so if so it was a non-Christian non baker uh, and a, a Christian came in and, put a, and wanted a message on a cake that had a Bible verse, could the non-Christian bake let, let me put, cake make it so I don't let, believe let, in that? Let me put another one to you. If you go into a Jewish or Muslim bakery and say, please, can you bake me pork pies? They should have the right to say, actually pork and our faith um, but I can recommend a guy down the road or here's yellow pages have a look they should be have the right yeah. because at the end of the day he's gonna get this cake anyway I'm sure you're shaking your cake. head yeah I am I think it the real core issue here is what sort of society do we want to live in a one which has one. got well yes a tolerant yes. one which loves each other and gives room and space yes. for each other exactly. as a gay Christian I believe that I should be able to support gay marriage, but and I don't... You can, and I'm well, so... let, 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 let me finish, away. because I think at the end of the day, I'm not allowed to in Northern Ireland, but the real issue is the young people who are listening to this debate in our society, mm. the young LGBT folk, we just had an issue on, on mental health, we know that 52% of young LGBT people self-harm because of the prejudice and discrimination they witness in society, and the church is a very key part of that, sadly. Mm -hmm. And we need to have a society that addresses that, that stops this um, real aggressive um, uh, 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 undermining of people and allows the toilet. Why couldn't they just bake the cake? Jane, Jane the, 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 key, the key point is the message. It's not that they discriminated yeah, no, against no, them the because they, they took their money. The I mean, I, I could have gone, in. Jane, I could have gone in and, and asked for that cake. Uh, I'm not yeah, gay. I, I get it. And they would have the said to my money, it's the message. It's the it? message. But it is the, the talking about the message, the fact that people have a problem with gay marriage, is about the problem they have a problem with people no, of sexual I, orientation who want to get married. Let me, George, right. George, let 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 George,
it is helpful to allow us to put okay, our points okay. of view. On, so point. I think ultimately it's about us allowing space for each other with different views to be heard, to live in a society which recognises that, is tolerant to that, and actually ensures that the most vulnerable, the young people who sit there and witness this debate, who are probably sitting watching this programme right now, know they're loved by God, that they're acceptable by God, Ooh. and it's fine to be gay and to get married. Marie, do religious beliefs have a place in business? Yeah, absolutely. I think religious beliefs are fundamental to who we are. Um, it's something that that we have fr right from the beginning. Every question we have about purpose in our lives, about meaning, religious beliefs, if we choose to have them, is everything we are. And what I find a bit scary about this debate is if you take the top three religions of the world, Christianity, Islam and Hinduism, that equates to 60% of the world population. Now to say that that 60% should keep their religious beliefs out of business when actually in Scotland, um, in Aberdeen, a religious group was denied having their church service in a hotel because of their views on same-sex marriage. Now, that to me is not equality. If it's going to work one way, it's got to work the other okay. way. And I would also support a gay baker not saying same-sex marriage, um, heterosexual marriage is the only way. I would support that too because I believe in freedom of conscience. Okay, okay let's go to Cherry with a legal perspective on this. Thank you, Sean. Uh, so joining me now is QC Daphne Romney, an employment barrister specialising in discrimination claims. Daphne, welcome. Hi. Why has this taken four years? It's taken four years because it has to go through three levels. It started off before the district judge, then there was an appeal to the Northern Ireland Court of Appeal, and then there was an appeal to the Supreme Court. And so there's a waiting list for any appeal case, and that's why, unfortunately, it's stretched out for, lots, for such a long time. What's the significance of what's been decided this week? Well, well, can I just pick up on a point that one of your speakers made about if I went into a, a, a kosher or a Muslim um, shop and asked for a pork pie? The, the fact is, in those circumstances, they're not offering anybody a pork pie. Yeah. So it's not that they're treating you less favourably than anybody else, because anybody who went in and asked for a pork pie would be told, I'm sorry, I don't serve pork. The fact that caused a lot of controversy in this case is that Asher's offered a service yeah. and my colleague Robin Allen QC was conducting the case. He specifically asked in cross-examination, is this service open to everybody? Is there any restriction on what you're offering? And they said no. So the whole point of the legislation was that goods and services are supposed to be offered to everybody without any form of... Um, discrimination and suddenly there's a conscience clause which the government actually deliberately rejected during the consultation which has come into this so that now you do have a conscience clause but from my point of view if I go into a shop and ask for a cake that says gay marriage is good or Brexit is bad or fox hunting is wonderful or anything yeah. I have no idea of the reception that I'm going to get. Do you, what kind of impact do you think this is going to have on business in the future? I think those with a strong belief in something now know that they're entitled to say no if it offends them, um, if they deem themselves associated with the message that they're putting out. The problem is we're not quite sure what is the message. Uh, a, a cake that says support gay marriage is a message. Is a wedding cake for a gay couple a message? Does it become a message if it says congratulations Ben and Barry uh, for a happy married life. So can you right. refuse to make somebody up if they're coming on a programme like this to put a certain <laughs> that's view? The, that's the question, Daphne. Thank you so much for joining us. Sean, well, there's the legal perspective. Yeah, I, I mean, there's so many interesting things. I mean, George, you're jumping in a bit there. Yeah, because she brought up my point, and I think she doesn't make a good point. Because there's also freedom of expression, there's rights that artists have to say, no, I won't do that. I, somebody else can do it, but for me, I, they were never denied. Actually, they were never denied actually having a cake made. And she mentioned my my thing about a a, 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 but, uh, a baker or Jewish or thing. Listen, you don't necessarily know the religion of a. Of a yeah, but the fact is, they weren't offering that that pork pie. I mean, no, no, that's, that's but not they were not that offering. Hang on, they were not offering. They were not offering cakes with slogans that say support gay marriage. 
They were not I, I mean, support I, anything. They were offering just vanilla cakes. They were offering a wedding cake. I, this guy went in with an agenda, I, and it blew up in his face, I, I, and they got to count the consequences. Okay, they no, started no, the no, fight. Gay people are always told they have an agenda. I love that, the gay agenda. Um, no, I mean, look, she, as, as your legal expert makes clear, this is messy, the mm. precedent that is, is set, and, and we don't know fully what the consequences are. They made it clear there were no restrictions whatsoever to what cakes would be made, and then, after accepting the order, they then decided there were restrictions, which were they would not support they didn't, that, a cake. They didn't do they that. Would, they would support. Well, they would not she, produce a cake which supported. She equal only rights. did just on do another, it. Just on another. Just another. Save his embarrassment. Just on another. For example, a clear cut example which often comes up, which is about the rights of bed and breakfasts. Uh, oh, sorry, of of, of same-sex couples to go to bed and breakfasts. Uh, and there was one example where they were turned away, and that is illegal. And the reason that's illegal... Uh, I mean, it, that's not our debate. We, well, yeah. I mean, well, we're not restricted. We're talking about religion and business. I mean, so it's a, it's a different example. point, that, isn't it? Well, well, if you're talking about religious beliefs and business, then presumably we're talking yeah. about other businesses, not just this one bakery okay, we'll in Northern Ireland. Um, um, you, if, if you wish to use a public opportunity to make money, then you have to abide by certain standards and regulations. You have to have clean kitchens. You can't discriminate against people people based uh, on their sexuality. But more broadly, and this is the point you're making, and the false, I have to say, a false argument from the other side here, counterposing Christians and LGBTQ people and rights. A large majority of Christians in this country, according to every poll, su support equal marriage, mm. including in Northern Ireland, where over two thirds mm. support mm. equal marriage. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and also, you know, okay. LGBTQ Christians exist, and the evidence shows that LGBTQ Christians are more likely to have suicidal ideation okay. and okay. mental distress well, than well, What I was going to say LGBTQ. is that that you know if you look at the MacArthur's they weren't out there with a questionnaire oh looking at people bakers, coming in yeah. they were just bakers and the as Amy said herself that when she took the cake order she realized that she didn't want to make the cake on grounds of her freedom of conscience that's the important thing but she didn't want to embarrass him so she didn't say it to him at the time she phoned him afterwards and I think that's a fundamental point if we look at Universal Declaration of Human okay. Rights teachings of Jesus it's about compassion it's about justice it's about love and tolerance which is where all this comes from and we're just where saying have a compassion? view but let us oh, where is the okay. but let us, let us uh, have our okay. let, let us have a different view let us debate it but let's both, not close both sides down entrenched. the debate. I'm afraid yeah. we're not going to get yeah, agreement but, here no, uh, <laughs> where, where is the compassion, the compassion? Is to George, say, you George, can do your thing, we can do... It's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We are out of time. Thank you all very much indeed. I told you this would happen.